Hey, welcome back. So we are going through a MS700 Microsoft Teams Administrator Associate training series. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your instructor for this course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about Teams licensing. Microsoft Teams is available in different licensing model from a Teams free license over the Teams commercial cloud trail offer up to subscription that include Teams and additional calling and voice and add-on licenses. At the user level, access to Microsoft Teams can be enabled or disabled on a per user basis by assigning or removing Microsoft Teams product license. There are two main differentiation when choosing the desired license. The core functionalities are available in all Office 365 education, business, enterprise, and developer subscription plans. Advanced features require an E5 plan and additional add-on on licenses. Some of the common services which include in E3 are DLP, Teams naming policy, Teams classification, Teams creation, etc. E would require E5 licenses for information barrier for Teams, audio conferencing, phone system, etc. So for audio conferencing, organization will need to buy and assign an audio conferencing license to each user who will set up dial-in meetings. For calling plans, each user will need a phone system plus a domestic or domestic and international calling plan. This table lists the add-on licenses available for Teams. There are add-ons for audio conferencing, toll-free numbers, phone system, calling plans, Teams rooms, and communication credits. It is important to know the licensing of other Microsoft 365 services as well. Please note that if users aren't assigned to SharePoint Online and Exchange Online licenses correctly, some Teams features will not work. For additional telephony features, Teams administrators should recognize from these examples. Starting on Jan 1st, 2020, Teams users will be able to send urgent messages with priority notification according to their terms of their subscription. When this new feature is available, some licensed team users will only be able to send up to five priority messages per month, while users with higher subscription like E3 or E5 will be able to send unlimited priority messages. Virtual users such as auto attendants with an assigned phone number do not require licenses to obtain the calling feature. These can be either a phone system or paid phone system user license to resource accounts. Beside licensing for organization, there are two special licensing models called Teams Free and Teams Commercial Cloud Offer. Let's explore those two in detail. The Teams Free Offer is in fact free of charge and intended for small businesses and consumers with a Microsoft account. This offer has the smallest feature set available and does not contain scheduled meetings, conferencing, custom email domain, or PSTN or admin tools. Microsoft Teams commercial cloud trial offer is a fully functional but time-limited trial offer. Each commercial cloud trial offer license include a set of 12 different standalone licenses such as Exchange Foundation and SharePoint Online kiosk with 2 GB of storage in SharePoint Online. Now that we have understood the Teams licensing model, the next lesson we are going to explore planning for Teams governance. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.